Okie dokie, here we are. This is going to be uh, part two. Well, it's a stream, but it's also for YouTube. I've been hearing this thing for a second, so let me destroy that. Um, uh, let's see, I um, I just did the uh, the first level, which, uh, first world, as they call it on this, which is, uh, I forget what the hell it's called. Um, uh, what the hell is it called again? I don't know why I can't think of uh, Mumbo's Mountain. There we go. And this is where I left off. Uh, this is where I left off last uh, stream. And actually, I believe at this point I've already uploaded the last stream's video to YouTube. And I'm going to do that with this one. So, let's proceed, shall we? Here we are playing Banjo-Kazooie. Now, um, oh, this is interesting. Uh, can I talk to you? Hold on, first things first, let me unlock this. Uh huh, yeah, I don't need to remove pieces. In fact, I'm trying to add pieces, bottles. Let's see. There we go. That's Treasure Trove Cro Treasure Trove Cove. This is a fun level. This is a lot of. This is a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to this level on stream. And uh, oh, also, these are things you gotta remember. So when I get, this is uh, Grunty's younger sister, and she's a nice witch. She's not mean like Grunty. <laughs> the thing is, you gotta memorize all the stuff she tells you, because for the end of the game, it's you'll see at a certain point when I get through this thing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, sort of plow through this real quick, and um, I'm gonna try to stay as uh, as canonical as possible. Ah, try to stay on this thing. Now you, you can come down here and wake him up. Uh, this guy is so because Grunty's lair is pretty big. You can use him to teleport through Grunty's lair. Get some eggs right here. Um, actually, what am I doing? I'll do it with Kazooie. There's an Ikotoko right there hidden behind him, so there was a reason to come down here. Um, you need those Ikan Tokens. Um, this game, before I get into what I'm babbling about and stuff, this game is pretty challenging. It really it really can be. Oh, wait, I can't do that yet because I don't have that ability. So I have to go up here. This level we're about to do, Treasure Trove Cove, it's, it's not... Oh, shoot. It's not, like, terribly difficult, but it, it can have its challenging moments. Uh, we're about to get in there right now. Hold on, I just, uh, uh, let's see. Up there, I think I can go up there already. But I'm just going in here really quick. So I can get, there's some stuff in here, I believe. Uh, oh, I can wake him up. But I think he's a different teleporter. Because he doesn't go to the other, uh, cauldron. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess you can tell them right there. Alright, let's see. The, uh, call them Ecom Tokens. Um, the YouTuber Nintendo Capri Sun said that. And I always called them Ecom Tokens too. Um, but I don't know if it's, uh, something everybody said. Because I said in the last video that everyone says it like that, but then I'm like, think about it. I go, well, I don't really know, to be totally honest with you. I haven't seen a whole lot of. Uh, 180. I don't have that yet. So, hold on. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't think it's necessary to go that way yet. Can't go up there yet. I don't think there's anything in here of any value for me to get, even if, even if I open this stuff. I think you can go down here and get this. Now that raises... Um... Hey, we... We're gonna live, Banjo. Let's see. And I can't go over there yet. I don't th oh, hold on. Yeah, see, I wanted to do all these things out here. I considered doing one or two of these things off-screen. But um, I was like, no, you know what? Let me just do it on the stream. If it, if it, again, these these videos that I'm doing, they're for these this this particular playthrough, Banjo Kazooie. It's gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload all these playthroughs to you to YouTube, um, and also do a little editing. And there's a uh, Brent Tilde. 
Alright, this is, see, this is a tricky part right here, because I haven't gotten any of these feathers yet, so I just want to grab a couple of these. But you can fall really easily, and as I say, Banjo's slippery as all hell. Now, I don't think that is, if anything, important yet. But we're just going to take a look anyway. Uh, again, this is going on YouTube and, you know, whatever else. Uh, hold on. Oh, man, the control of Banjo sometimes is just a little bit tricky. You know, it's funny, too. Sometimes these old games, uh, they have cheap difficulties and control issues and stuff like that. But you can't... Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I can do this already, so I'm going to do this now. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. There you go. So now that's open. That's the third level. Uh, I believe it's the third level. Um, I'm going to be doing that next. Now, the third and fourth level on this game, or world on this game, are a bit of a pain in the ass. So I'm not looking forward to those two at all. Because some of the mini games in them to get uh, jiggies are just like, ugh. So, like, those days I'm really going to prepare for, like, the long haul. Like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, I'm going to start the stream probably right in front of them. They're the, um... Because, again, uh, I, think mo I think most of these levels, our worlds, can be done in under an hour. Except for, I think, one or two. I think most of these can be done under in under an hour, I think. But, um, I can't remember. Every time I played Banjo, it's been a long time since I played it. Last time I played this was like five years ago, probably. And at that time, I actually played through this one and then Banjo Tooie, which is the sequel. Now, I said in the last uh, stream, the last uh, video, that uh, I, um, I, I wasn't going to talk about Banjo Tooie. I said, oh, I'll talk about it another time. I'll talk about it a little bit right now. There's no reason not to. Um, uh, you know, whatever. The thing is, I'm not really a big fan of Banjo-Tooie. Uh, Banjo-Tooie starts off really well. It seems really interesting when you first start playing it. But as the game goes on, it's a very safe and by the numbers kind of game. As opposed to this one, that everything is so like... Like every level, you pretty much do the same thing on this game. You you, um, you, know, you gotta get 10 Jiggies and, and 100 Notes and, you know, whatever. Five Jinjos. But I feel like part two is too much like that. Like, like it's too... Every level is the exact same thing. All right, here we go. Treasure Trove Cove. Oh, I think there's an Econ token back here. Let's take a look. No, really? By the way, this is inverted. This looking around. Uh, a lot of the controls were inverted on the N64 because um, there was only one analog stick back then. Here we go! <laughs> Oh, I like this level. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Good battles. Yeah, I'll find you in a minute, bottles. Just give me a second. Now, these crabs are a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, let me go get this ginger while I'm... Anytime you go in the water on this game, that freaking shark harasses you. And that's one thing that absolutely drives me crazy about this level. Um, ran out loud, this control. That's the one thing that they they definitely made better on uh, part two, is shooting eggs at uh, bad guys. See how I was barely able to get them? I need some health, man. Jeez at least. Uh, I'm gonna get this dude first. Take care of this first, and then I'll go uh, from there. For, God, oh, for crying out loud, the freaking crab is stalking me the whole time. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, uh, what does he say? Oh, I can't read it. Cheeky beard. <laughs> he pissed him off. This dude was here to help and just Kazooie pisses him off. <sighs> Gosh, I ran right into him. Alright, alright, now... Oh, for crying out loud. Shooting the eggs is the same as changing camera angles, so it's like... It's like you... You, you have to push up. It's like, eh, your feeble eggs won't harm me. 
I think that's all you have to do is just hit him in the eyes. Get him to, to snap, 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 and then snap, 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 and then hit him in the eyes. And this is a rare game, so everything's done in threes. All the attacks, all the... One, two, three, and then... Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, come on, dude! Ugh. Oh, man, I've never had that kind of trouble right here. This is where he retreats to, into his shell. But... And then there's nothing in here. I think this is one of the really cool things about Banjo. There's places like this, little areas like this. So we're in the shell. But he's not in here, so... so. And as a matter of fact, other crabs are in here. That's a good way of getting rid of these assholes. It's a damn egg. Uh, oh, cool. First jiggy. Okay, cool. That only took me a couple of minutes. All right. Now we can talk them right here. Um, I'm committing everything to memory, but I don't. I'm gonna just be honest right now on. On part two of Banjo Kazooie, I may do some like ref memory refreshing, watching other things or whatever. I know that's really cheap, but um, the thing is, uh, some of these levels might take me a while uh, trying to like, like I think it's better to do it blind, especially for a playthrough like this. But I don't, I want to try to like avoid as, as much editing as possible. And I did a little editing actually on the last stream. I'm sorry, on the last episode. Which if you if you if you watch it, you'll probably actually see it's on YouTube right now. You'll probably see when that is. Uh, oh, here's Bobby's. All right, he's giving me the ability to fly. Yeah, I did a little bit of editing, but I was using the YouTube editor, and the YouTube editor takes a little while. Like it makes you wait. So you edit some, you edit something with your your phone on Apple. No big deal. Boom, boom, boom. You edit it on YouTube, it's like, oh, uh, we'll let you know in a few hours when this thing is done. You're like, oh, man, that looks. I wish I had an N64 controller, this would be so much easier. Um, uh, this, it's funny what Kazooie says to this guy, so I'll try to read some of this dialogue. Oh, crap. Look at the burpy noise. I lost me treasure when the shit finished. Well, go find it then, bubble guts. <laughs> Uh, but I can't swim. Oh my god. I'm an old dude. <laughs> sure, we'll find it for you. What the heck? This guy's not gonna do his uh, his, his own dirty work. Give me a second. Let me just take a sip of this water. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to reach for my water. And let's see. God, this guy's so lame. <laughs> I mean, Kazooie's right. Let's see, uh, all right. So we're gonna go down here, get this Ikan Tokum. Let's see, oops. See, inverted's not bad when you're swimming. Get it, you dumbasses. Even the gold's alive. Hell, really? But yeah, the funny thing about um, this is what I was gonna say earlier. The funny thing about playing a game with cheap difficulty is um, there's half your treasure. You should be freaking happy. You don't have to lift a finger. You fucking <laughs> excuse my language, man. My God. He's like, oh, but where's the rest of my money? Oh, poor me. Like, yeah, it's for you, dude. Uh, wait. Can I get down there again? Oh, yeah, yes. Ah, uh, controlling banjo in the water is tough. The thing about the cheap difficulty on these old games is that it is cheap, yeah, and sometimes it really sucks, but there's, there is a challenge about that that just doesn't exist anymore in modern games. Like, a lot of modern gaming, this fucking asshole never lost his treasure. Um, a lot of modern gaming uh, has like solid controls, you know, so 
And this game has solid controls, it's just that Banjo is fucking slippery. Um, so hold on, let's go over here really quick. And that could be like, oh my god, that'll drive you nuts. I mean, like, absolutely nuts. So let's see. We should just take his money, because he'll be like, seriously. There you go, you dope. There's your money. Man, you think me, heart? Uh, I can't read the freaking party need to be said. Spin, spin, spin. Now, uh, there's a lot of trickiness to this level, or uh, to this world, rather. Now, before I go flying around, let me go get this. And let me go do that. Hold on. Alright, he's gonna give me another ability. Yeah, I love it. Poor Banjo. He's not fat, he's buff. Leave him alone. Speed up this dialogue a little bit. Oh yeah, Ecom Tokum. Oh yeah, this is where I was actually headed. We, we patched a leak with eggs. Oh, by the way, there was one of those bomb guys, one of those uh, water mines right there. I just blew in bits. It just showed him a little bit, but oops. Loud. All right, let's get on top of this. We'll, we'll, we'll get it outdoors. Now it's fairly obvious what you're doing here. All right, so oh here, let's, as you can see, the name, the title of the game is written on the wall there. Well, it's hard to see. Let's get these notes right here. All right, let's go. Mm, I can never find the letters, I swear. Okay, and then oh, the J's up there. Uh, it's right there, gosh. And the K's right here, I believe, yeah. Uh, did we just hit the same letter A? Well, well let's hit a different one. Let's see. The hell is the Z? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's right there. And then we gotta hit two O's. We've already hit one, so. Uh, oh. And then I. Beck is the letter I. Alright. Woohoo! Oh, what the hell? That's, he still hit me even though he's upside down? Now, you can use this room right here to, like, raise your, your feather and egg con uh, accounts or whatever. But, uh, I forgot. That's, that's late. Okay, let's see. Now, we got three jiggies. Let us proceed. I really gotta charge my freaking um... Get up there. <sighs> For crying out loud, I, I seriously have to go like this? Like, uh, such a waste of time. That was a speed, speed run. I'd be going nuts. Or somebody who likes to, you know, do games quickly. Like, oh my god! That N64 bad camera angle shit. Like, like you see? Let's see if I can, if I can make it like this. I could have if I had a better camera angle. Ugh, hold on. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. That's that's frustrating to see. Like that not only is it frustrating to see, but it's also embarrassing for the player, you know, for the for the YouTuber slash us uh, not speedrunner, but uh, Twitch person, etc. 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 I can't grab these fucking slippery ass freaking um, Banjo, good lord. Um, now, I don't remember where the frickin' honeycombs are in this level, so... <sighs> I'm in the wrong 
way, and the angle changes, and I get confused. I've literally gone to back and forth through that freaking um, tunnel, or whatever, a couple of times. Uh, I don't think this guy matters, but no, he doesn't. Don't matter later. Um. Oh my God! You see what happens? I'm supposed to be doing it with the up C stick, not the freaking analog stick, and that's what happens. Uh, actually, no. Come on, Banjo, you're a bear, you can climb trees. So, if you're trying to climb a tree to hide from a bear, and he climbs back up after you, I mean, couldn't you just, like, kick him in the face or something? <laughs> um, I can hear comments right- I can see comments already right now. This guy is so stupid! Doesn't know anything about the animal kingdom! This is so stupid! Nobody comments on my shit. Alright, let's see. Um, I'll go back to that in a minute. Uh, first things first. Now let's get this jiggy, why not? God, he's even hard to control in flight. Like it's a pain controlling banjo. You know, it's funny because, you know, back in the N64 days, you know, when this was a real, like a, you know, a new game and stuff, you know, you're not thinking about things like that. You're just, the control is just the control. It's just what it is, you know? Like, you're not thinking that the control is bad. Um, because for all intents and purposes, at the time, it wasn't bad. You know, that, that was just normal control. I mean, there are some games on the N64 and PlayStation that had, like, atrocious control compared to this. Um, it just was what it was, you know? Ah, get up there. Uh, I don't, I, I think a lot of people don't know that you can actually do that. I think most people think that you can just, like, hold on. Okay, I have to go up there. Um, but I think I should start the flying around for, actually, you know, hold on, let's go up here. And these guys are getting on my nerves, man, these clams. Because I, I know I'm going to run into one. Oof. Changing the angles is tough. Let's see if I can kill this crab really quickly and get these notes up here. Oh man, like, it's, it, it, it's so tough to fly around controlling uh, them. You know, you play... Oh, shoot. You, pl you play Tears of the Kingdom and you know, you're just like, oh, yeah. mine's easy with Link. Hold on. There you go. Sorry, I was trying to concentrate on um, what I was doing right there. This level, th this level, this world just has a shitload of things to do in it. And excuse my language, I'm trying to curse so much. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It's not like anybody's gonna see my shapes. And uh, also, my my YouTube videos, I, I, I set them to not for kids, you know, so uh, it's fine, you know. Uh, kids with, uh, small children with their accounts are not gonna get on my, uh, I think if you set your YouTube stuff for kids, um, you have to follow like a lot of rules, you know, like, like you can't be like you have to like if you use foul language, it has to be, I think, done like the same as the reading system, like only so much certain kids can get in, only you know, whatever. But that's it, that's nice you. yeah, this lo this world, Treasure Trove Crow, this is like a lot of well. First of all, this place is freaking humongous. It's huge. Especially for an N64 here. Hey, look, there he is. He's just a bum. He's just minding his own business, being a mine. And then he's like, hey, who are you? I'm gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can blow him up before. Um... I went way too far. Uh, hold on. Let's see. He's like, okay. Oh. 
Is there any consequence to blowing them up? I'm not sure that's the thing, like... Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. So there was no point in that. But it's better than getting blown to bits like yourself, you know, so... Oh, but yeah, now as I was saying earlier, this level is huge. I mean, it's humongous. And especially for an N64 game, like, this place is huge. I'll try to give a, uh, an idea of how big this this world is uh, a little later. La la la. Wait, so that... All right, let's see. Okay, he's right there. This one I think I can just shoot, but... Bits. Now, if you hear that whistling, it's because there's a Jinjo right here. I can't get him. Oh, no. oh changing camera angles is tough. Oof. I have to tippy toe over this Jinjo. Now, I don't think. Come on. Oh, for I don't think I need to go this way yet. I don't remember, honestly. Let's see. So let's go back. Uh, let's go back to. Sorry about that. <sighs> oh, there we go. Now I'm at the right spot. Let's go back up here. Oh, there's an Ecom token right there. I need to get. Ah, uh, bah, bah. And if you guys were wondering, that was ah, bah, bah. Oh, speaking of Ecom Tokens, um, uh, Mambo's not in this level. So, I swear I'm not gonna be able to say world. I have, I have to say level. To me, world is like the world map, you know? The level is the actual level, you know? Like, this is a level to me. And outside is the world. You know, like, like Grunty's lair is the world, in my opinion. He's like, all right, I'm gonna get you. He's like, don't touch my knee. <laughs> Heck yeah. We are rolling along. Alright, let's see. We already got five jiggies, so like, we're already halfway through the stage. Stay now, I call it a stage. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Um, when I get a chance to, I might try to show. Show. I might try to sh try Say that three times fast, good lord. I might try to show what happens when Banjo falls from really high. It's freaking hilarious. At some point or another. Again, since these are for the purposes of YouTube, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, let's see. I am the Wolvers. Okay, that X marks the spot is where I'm probably gonna go next. You already used a lot of eggs. Fucking Link can grab on the ledge, bro. Why can't you do it? <sighs> That's what's really annoying. This game was not meant for an a second analog stick. Alright. I like how the music stops when you get all high up right here and all you hear is like ocean sounds, you know? Ah, pfft. Did not mean to go in there. I was trying to turn around if you saw. Alright. Now, I brought up Banjo Tooie earlier. Well, first things first. Let me get let me get to the edge here so I can have a better look around. Uh, you see that place right there, that, that shark cove sign or whatever it says? I think that's what it says. There's like a cavern underwater there that you can't reach. Um, yeah, look how big this place is. It's freaking humongous. I mean, again, this is an N64 game. I mean, good luck. I can't even see anything. Just... Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Oh, who does that? Oh, let's hit this grunty button right here. We're up to 29 minutes. Well, that's out there. Uh, and uh, honestly, like, I'm not even 29 minutes in this level. Ah, oh, that inverted control is driving me crazy. 
Uh, I can't even see anything right here. But I love it how the music stops up here. It's so cool. Now, I think there might be a ginger around here. So, let me, let me go around here. Ah, there he is. I was trying to see if I could hear him say, no, no. But he wasn't doing any of that. with him. Oh, man, I just used up so many freaking eggs. Okay, cool. <laughs> he is killable. Alright, so let's jump down here. Oops, there's stairs. We gotta go here. Now, how can I make this easy for myself without that shark harassing me? I hate that friggin' shark. Um, oops. You have to hold Z when you change to, um, to Kazooie running around. Alright, now, we're crying out loud. Hang on a second. Uh, oh, for, for finally sake. Sorry about that. Alright, let's go get this ginger. I think that's all the gingers. Yeah. Heck yeah. Hang on a second. Uh, give me one second. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you know, normally I'm streaming and nothing of any important. Nobody, nobody of any importance hits me up. But like, there's some people that will hit me up where I'm like, oh shoot, like I, I've got to like respond to this person or you know find out what the the, the get down is or you know whatever. Um, most people it doesn't matter. It's like ah eh, whatever, man, I hit you back. Um, but uh, some people. Uh, <laughs> sent me a voicemail. Good lord. Um, hold on. It, it, it pointed me in this direction, right? I'm just getting these X marks to spot things. Um, Okay, let's see. Now I can pause it and edit the stream, which I might do if. But I, it's funny because my mom, she sent me a voicemail, a voice message right now, a voice bit. I'm sorry. And I just sent her a text, and I'll call you back. And then she sent a voicemail, and I'm like, I just sent a voicemail. Why didn't you just send me a text? In this day and age, I feel like a voice mailbox is almost completely. Uh, um, I don't want to say obsolete, but that's probably the best way to describe it because it's like, well, it's completely, it's it's completely useless now because there's no reason to have voicemail. I mean, like you could leave a voice recording if you want. You know what I mean? Like you could, like in a text message. Uh, of course, I think that might be with the Apple phones. I don't know. I have an Apple phone, sadly. No, I like Apple. I like Apple as far as phones are concerned. Uh, oh yeah, he's down here. Damn it! There you go! Heck yeah, this one's rolling along. You're up to eight jiggies now. Uh, let's see, the shark's not harassing me, that's good. Because I hate that freaking shirt. And I forgot, is there anything in here? Uh, let's, let's just go in. Yep, there's freaking notes in here. Now I got all the Jinjos. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he takes my feathers? Freaking bastard. 
I'm <laughs> crying out loud. There we go. <sighs> jump. Oh my god. I knew I was too close. Alright, jump. Oh, feathers, I was looking for notes. Alright, now this is gonna be the more trickier part of the level. And I'm just gonna call them levels for crying out loud. I don't wanna call them worlds anymore because it just confuses the hell out of me. Um, because now we're gonna have to do some, you know, tippy toeing and. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to check. Yes, there's two honeycombs in this level and I have no idea where they are. So. Let's proceed. I. I Probably should have looked that up before I started streaming. Uh, just like, hey, where are those at? Because I always forget where those things are at. They're hidden very cleverly. And if you already figured it out on the last video, I don't have to like research more. <laughs> Give it away what I did when I paused it. It's funny because it's like I pause only for a couple seconds and I'm like, I know where it is. And I'm like, yeah, nah, dude, you're not fooling anybody, bro. Uh, everyone knows you look that shit up. Um, <laughs> you know, but and then it's, it's so funny because if you listen to that part, you hear the music cut out for a second. Like, like, like it changes to a different, different part of the song. And it's like, yeah, you're not fooling anybody, buddy. And it's like, yeah, and then I'm just, just trying to make a solid YouTube video. Of course, here I am, almost 20 years behind on Let's Plays, you know what I mean? I'm streaming live on Twitch, I haven't had a single customer in here. Um, and I watched, I think one person came in the stream earlier, but it was probably just a, what they call a unique viewer. Someone who just pops in, doesn't say anything, and then leaves. Um, I've already texted multiple people, and be like, yo, I'm be streaming, come on, give me an audience, and they all just completely ignored my text. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the people that I, um, I actually texted and said, hey, I'm going to be streaming in a little bit. Like, he sent me texts since then. And I know that my stream, when it pops on, his phone gets a notification of it. Ah, whatever, dude. <laughs> like, whatever, dude. Like, I, I t if I text him right now, he'd have no idea. Like, oh, shoot, you, you're streaming? Oh, shoot. Like, and I'm like, dude, I like told you that. Like, I'm, I'll be streaming in 20 minutes, you know? Like... It just like, and, and and again, it's like, dude, I know your phone sends you a notification when I start streaming, dude. The hell out of here with that crap. <laughs> here I am being all bitter about it. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm mean, like, how dare you, how dare you not freaking be 100% like knowing exactly when I'm streaming and, and you know, me, 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 me. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, hold on, I think. I think one of the honeycombs is down here. I think it's around the corner over there. I think. I'm gonna fly there uh, to check for it. After I get these last uh, notes, which. Shit, I think I, I've got four notes left. It's not in him, is it? It might be. Alright, let me, let me, he's just sitting there, being an explosive device, minding his own business, and then Banjo comes along and he's like, Hey, mm, what are you doing? Nope. Uh, nothing down there. Oh, there's a jiggy down there. And I believe that's Flash. Yeah, I mean, that's funny, he does his dance normally for every other reason. Um, hold on, sorry about this. Okay, I'll learn in just a little bit. Alright, ooh, I almost didn't make the jump. Now, is it down here? No, no, not. this is where I was earlier. And I think it's down there. That's the other thing about this game is that, like, I can't remember what anything is a lot of the times. I think it is down here. I just, uh, 
I'm gonna fly and take a look. Because doing what I was doing right now, that's gonna get me killed. Uh, pretty certain my honeycomb, my honeycomb academia is over here. <laughs> that's stupid. Alright, hold up. Uh, no. Uh, it's not like uh, Smithers right now. Bet you anything, it's like around the corner right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's any can toke him. So I need to land on. I'm trying to land on the um, on the shell, and I was like totally off. And that was my fault too, because like my brain told me, dude, you're not over that thing. But ah, it is what it is. Um, I think it might be around this corner right here. Well, let me go in here and piss him off. Alright. Mm. Gosh, this is freaking annoying. It's like... And I don't even know where the last three notes are. I'm like, uh, where are the last three notes? Like, I, I, I don't have a clue. Like, they're probably up here somewhere, like, or on top of a tree or some such. Um, but still, I'm like, oh, dude, are, you, are we, are we seriously, like, at this point now? Like, I'm like, oh, great. My, my, not my stream, but my, uh, uh it's probably over here or something, but hold on. Before I continue, I have the Jinjos. Okay, all I need is... Okay. It's, oh, there it is. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's one of the reasons why I was coming up here, because I was like, did I circle this thing fully? And I didn't think I did. I really didn't think so. Okay, I think... I think the hun one of the honeycombs is down here. Crap, what did I do? Whew. Well, there's a one up. By the way, I got an opportunity to show just how he reacts to falling, and that was it right there. Uh, he does not react very well to falling. Okay, so I've got all the stuff in this level, but I want to get the honeycomb pieces that I absolutely need. Those are essential to our survival. <laughs> it's so dramatic. I don't even remember. Oops. I don't even remember coming this way. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm going to stop right here really quick, because I have everything. Uh, and I'm gonna take a look at those honeycomb pieces really quickly. Give me one second, okay? Okay, I'm back. I was on the right track all along for one of them. Uh, depending on where I am, um, see, part of the problem with this game is that the pop-up on this game makes it so that you can't see certain things from far away. And this is one thing that I completely... See, look, there it is. But there's one thing I completely forgot about. But that actually may be on purpose a little bit. Not on purpose, but that, that might be part... That may very well have been part of the plan as far as Rare Nintendo is concerned because those are supposed to be hidden. And uh, the other one is right over here. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't know where it was the whole damn time. So I'm already done with Treasure Trove Cove. It worked 46 minutes, so um, I'm going to go uh, get that honeycomb. And uh, probably wrap this bad boy up. But I am going to probably go 
a couple of places in Renty's lair. And I said we're up to 46 minutes, but the the, the level time, we're only at, oh, 35, man, God, it took a while to do this level. 35 minutes? Good lord. Um, so I was on the right track here the whole time. I just didn't see it from the right angle. Okay. Now this shark will make my day miserable. Like, I have to get out of here really quickly. And uh, you see how I went from underwater physics to above water physics? Uh, it's like I was able to um, swim. Sorry about this. Let me check. Uh, okay, so that's everything. And then, and oh, what's it called? Let's see. And I got every ginger. Oh, well, well, yeah, you can't. You have to every, every single ginger. So let's hurry up and get the hell out of this level. So how much time do I have? I, if I had more time, I would definitely do another level, but these, this level took 35 minutes. You know what I mean? And since this level took 35 minutes, it's like, um, oh shoot, hold on, sorry. Since, I can't even talk. Since this level took 35 minutes, uh, the next level is going to take probably that long or longer. Um, like I said, I think most of these levels you can do in under an hour, but, um, the early ones for sure. The later ones, hell no. So that's why I'm like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm going to, um, ah. I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up right now. But before I do that, I'm gonna proceed on just a little bit so I can start the next stream right from where it, it ended at. Uh, I'm gonna do this with Banjo for this week. We'll call this the Banjo-Kazooie week. Uh, okay, so I got that. Uh, oops. Ah, come on. Okay, let's proceed, shall we? I have four people in the chat right now. Thank you for being here. If you can, leave a comment. If you don't follow me, please leave a like if you can. I'd really appreciate that. The more people that I get following my stuff, the more inclined I am to, you know, continue doing it. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. I swear, I'm up to 36 uh, people right now. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't think anybody was actually going to do that. Thank you so much, Maggie-licious. I like that. That's an adorable name. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think that was going to happen. Um, so, um, honestly, like, I thought the people that were in the chat right now were um, just, like, people that I know personally. And they were just checking it out. And they were just, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. So thank you. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Uh, I'm going to... Um, 37 followers. Finally, I've been stuck at 36 for a long time. Uh, yeah, so that's going to finish it for this quick stream. I'm going to do this again tomorrow or maybe the next day. I don't know yet. Uh, Banjo Kazooie, because some of these other levels are my pleasure. Huh? I love this game and Banjo Tooie, uh, both super fun. Thank you. I'm gonna continue playing this probably throughout the week. Um, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube also on my channel, Kira Light. Uh, so when you get it, uh, right now, I already have the first part on there, and then this one's on here, and then I'm gonna continue this maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much uh, for being here. Thank you very much for the follow, Maggie-licious. And yes, I love Banjo Kazooie. If you're in the next stream, or even if you see my YouTube stuff, leave a comment. Trust me, I can talk all day about these games. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that right here. And stay tuned for, this will be part two. Stay tuned for part three.